We told you about that Newport News shooting first as breaking news on wavy.com. And tonight, 10 in your size, Liz Kilmer continues to gather the latest information. So what have you discovered since this afternoon? Well, at last check, the victim had possibly life threatening injuries. We know that when officers found him, he was lying on the ground with a gunshot wound to the upper body. Now, in the seconds leading up to that, witnesses say they saw a group of possibly 10 teenagers in the area and that a couple of them actually carried the victim across the street before running off. It just happened so fast. And I mean, it was just like boom, boom. And then I saw the kids and saw the authorities pull up. Gunfire leading to chaos across a busy stretch of roadway in Newport News. I've lived here all my life and I ain't never heard of nothing like this, not this close to where I'm at. Alan Wallace was waiting at a tire shop on Warwick Boulevard when he says a group of kids came running across the street from this side of the road carrying a bleeding teenager. He says they left him near this Popeyes. They dropped him there and then two of them took off running that way. Officers arrived on scene shortly after three, discovering the victim just 16 years old. The boy was laying out in the grass, you know, and his body was like limp and everything. And when they picked him up, I could see blood coming out of his chest and blood coming out of his back. The teen was taken to the hospital as detectives scoured the area. Popeyes was briefly taped off, with officers seeming to focus within and around the parking lot of a Taekwondo center across the street. David Purdy, who works nearby, is saddened to learn what happened. These young kids of youth today are not the same as when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. They uh, need a lot of more respect in life. Um, I feel sorry for the family and the rest of the kids. because. Again, we're told that 16 year old has possibly life threatening injuries. Police tell me that no one else was hurt. And right now there's no word on any suspects. But of course, we're working to get that information to you as soon as we can. Anita, back to you. Very sad situation. Thank you, though, Liz.